Who did we have on who was falling in love with Drake May? Was that Orlovsky? Orlovsky. Orlovsky likes Drake May. It feels like he likes him more than he does Caleb Williams. Okay, the thing, my guy is Michael Penix Jr. So so that's where we would Would you differ. take him over these other two? Yeah, I'd take Penix over both of them. If Be- you had the number one pick in the draft. Yes. You would take Michael Penix. Yes, because of what Kalen DeBoer does offensively with Ryan Grubb. It's a very pro-style offense. Also, he doesn't get sacked. He gets the ball out of his hand, and that doesn't mean just quickly. Sometimes it's down the field uh, um, for big shots quickly out of He does not get sacked. The last two years, you look at what Caleb Williams has had to do. You're not going to be able to do that in the NFL where you're going to be able to go backwards, True. run all over the place, and make a play. Now, maybe he will, but it hasn't been sustainable for a lot of guys. I mean, Patrick Mahomes uses it when he needs to. It seems like Caleb Williams has to do it all the time. I think Drake May is probably a good fit there as well in terms of, of what he can do. Um, uh, you know, But I think he's a lot like Sam Howell. I do. I think they're very similar, just not only because they're from North Carolina. Michael Penix Jr. for me, and this is hard for me to say, You know, being a Washington Husky, uh, rocking a Coug <laughs> shirt on, on your show here. Um, but... But I, I just like him a lot, and I love what Kalen DeBoer and Ryan Grubb bring to the table in terms of their offensive philosophy and what it can look like when it translates to the NFL game. I like that. Okay. Because I, I agree with you. Caleb Williams won't be able to play this way in the NFL. No. He may have moments, plays that he can play like this, but you know the game is just so much quicker, as you know, getting ball out, you know, your reads when you throw it away, all of those things. But Orlovsky loved Drake May. I haven't I haven't studied him enough. I've been breaking down a little bit of what the Miami UNC matchup is for this weekend, just because of what went down with Miami last week. Because I wanted this game to be such a big deal, and last week's decision by Mario Cristobal kind of put that to the side a little bit, you know. And hopefully, it won't beat him twice. So this, I think, this will go a long way for Drake May if he can have a a, a really good game against the likes of the Miami Hurricanes in a division or in a conference, and then. You know, hopefully they'll get to a, a championship game against Florida State, who's really good. So you, just so I have it correct, if you had the number one pick in the draft and needed a quarterback, you would take Michael Penix, Jr. Yeah, he he to me is a uh, you know Trevor Lawrence. He to me is Andrew Luck. That's that's what I believe in him. I mean, okay, it, it, they don't. It's not the same, but you know the Heisman Trophy um, sounds are starting to come out a lot louder around Michael Penix Jr. I think he's like the number two guy right now I think he might be number one and I I tell you if they now he's got a great opportunity they got Oregon at home this weekend right this is the first like the fifth top 10 matchup at Husky Stadium ever it's going to be a huge huge deal it's a close game they beat him in Eugene last year then he's got a November 11th matchup at SC Mm -hmm. against uh, Caleb Williams he goes down there they win and he beats the reigning Heisman Trophy winner his stock is going to skyrocket, and so I'm just I'm trying to get on that train earlier than than most.